Hello and welcome to this Sonic Lab review of the 4MS Meta Module. The Meta Module is so many things. It can be complete patches or just an individual module. So the chip inside the Meta Module is way more powerful than you usually find in your Iraq modules. However, there are limitations to that power. And it's not too difficult to bump up against those limitations. When you run out of CPU juice, the patch stops with a error message. But I think there's a ridiculous amount of power to HP, so I don't worry about it too much. The instrument is also polyphonic. Here's a patch with four different setups of mutable instruments braids. Some modulators affect all of them, some only one. So the unit has uh, 12 knobs, 6 big ones and 6 small ones, <laughs> plus a encoder knob, which is clicky, did you hear the click? And a back button which lights up, it's really nice. Most of the navigation is done by the push encoder and the back button. So here I am adding a module to the patch. Here are the available modules by the way. These four braids are going into one Bafaco VCA slash mixer. You don't have to assign everything to a knob, you can manually change values just using the encoder. And now I'm connecting some internal virtual patch points. Well, hey, we've got some sound. And you can route eight polyphonic MIDI notes to different places. Let's add an LFO. And patch that up to the Tombra CV of the various braids. Let's assign some knobs. You might be thinking, well, I've got braids polyphonically on my Korg Mini Log or another polyphonic synth. But do they allow you to change the algorithm per note?
Now, some of the modules don't make that much sense on the meta module screen. For instance, this gate sequencer is huge and powerful, but you'd have to scroll through turning on every step. There's also a couple of available plugins that just can't run as of yet. There's two gate ins, six audio or CV ins, so they're DC coupled inputs, and eight audio slash CV outs. I tend to use seven and eight for my stereo out of the module. There's also a micro SD card slot and a USB C port. So there's kind of good points and not so good points when it comes to integration. So uh, the great points are you can put your patch on a USB memory stick or an SD card from VCV rack. And using the 4MS module inside VCV rack, set your knob assignments and then pop it on your SD card or USB stick. The not so good is you're going to have to make a mental note of what modules are available on your specific meta module because it comes with some built in, it comes with some you download. And you're going to need to download very purposefully, very consciously, the same plugins into VCV Rack to make sure that the patches translate across. So there is a degree of admin involved. However, if like me, you're mainly going to be building the patches on the instrument itself. You know, it's a great little unit to just have just take to bed <laughs> and just go for it. Just add your modules via the UI. The UI is much better than it has any right to be. You know, I imagine do it might be a nightmare. It really isn't. It's really quite intuitive and it's all color coded. to talk about the pod format itself so this is a 26 hp module and it's in a little pod 26 case and it really does feel like the closest you could get to like a standalone you're right module you know oh i wonder if you could hack in a headphone output mm. with a little headphone amp Anyhow, I loved it so much, and there's these little daisy chainable power connectors. Absolutely fantastic. That I bought my own pod of modules and connected them up. <laughs> So there's some tricks you can do with FM on this. Things like modulate polyphonic operators against one another.
I'd never used mutable warps, but wow, it's a favourite now. Here's a duophonic patch. Here I am using the meta module in an interesting way. I'm using it to affect the triggers coming out of the Korg drum log. I can mute triggers, run them through burst generators, all sorts of fun. Here's a polyphonic additive patch. Again, I can tweak the harmonics of each voice differently. I also chose to cross mod just one of the voices. Here the meta module is pretty much doing everything. I'm using a delta module by Hetrix CV to boost the guitar. So given that it has a couple of shortcomings in terms of computing power compared to my wild imagination, <laughs> obviously I've used older virtual modular systems like the Nord G1 for quite some time. This feels more luxurious and quirky and varied compared to that. I will probably be called a shill who is full of hyperbole for saying this, but I personally have never had so much fun with a synth. It's actually, it's absolutely floored me with, with the sounds I've made and with the excitement that it's generated in me. Some people have said, and quite rightly, what do you need this for? Um, why can't you just get your laptop and maybe buy an expert sleepers module? 
Using VCV on a laptop doesn't give me the same thrill. It doesn't feel as real as having all these uh, outputs and knobs in one unit. I know that this review will be out of date pretty quickly because <laughs> they keep on improving and updating the thing. I believe a sample player is coming and that'll be fun patching samples into all of these different places at audio rates. I absolutely love it. Well done for MS. For me at least, someone who doesn't mind a little bit of clicking, a little bit of menus, but nothing too bad. It's made all of my modular dreams come true. I can try so many things out now without spending loads of money. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to review the Meta module. See you next time on Sonic Lab.